What's going on, YouTube? How can I match up with some more Digimon World 2? Alright, so in the last episode, I think I had just finished taking care of... Um... Video Dome. Um... I'm kinda tired now, really tired, so I just recorded this episode. But, the video, like, got corrupted while I was saving or whatever, so I have to do it again. So, yeah. So, in between me having to do this episode over and the last episode, I actually grinded up a little bit, not as much as I said I would, but, um, I actually got work Raymon on now, and I'm making up with Terrible, because originally I just did this video right after the last one, but since it got corrupted, I have to do it again, I figured instead of risking that again, I'll just do it this way, so, uh, that's what we're going to do with this actual domain, so let's get to it, because last time it took about 20 minutes to get to this domain. Uh, actually, it, it was about 30 minutes total recording, uh, not including the stuff I'd cut out because of uh, random battles and such, but yeah, so I apologize if I sound kind of tired, it's because I am, and I'm having to record this episode once again. Alright, so... Uh, this domain's gonna be filled with virus-type Digimon, and obviously vaccine-type mons are the ones you want to bring if you can. I have. So, there's also something on the last floor that we need. Something. Uh, I think I said in the last episode, I might not have said it, that there were going to be. Uh, there comes a point where we need a tank mod, I believe I said. Or uh, I might not. That might have been an episode where I have the failed recording. And now I'm just going to end up fighting these guys. So. So what happened was you're gonna need a tank mod for literally right after this. So um, you want to bring Digivices to this domain because you can actually fight tank mod on the last floor right here. And there's only one in this whole domain, but uh, that's really all you need to, to fight. And tank mod, there's one of those mods like Wood Mod, where it takes uh, one step for every two of yours. So that's always nice. Anyway, I didn't cut this battle out because I was talking over it. And I guess I'm not dying because we're on this specialty floor. So I, I assume that's why everyone's still alive right now. Or else they usually, they always get one shot. And I just wanted to level up uh, Tortomon uh, three more times. Or rather, two more times. And then he'll be able to become, uh, he'll have Tortomon with his attack. And that's really all I kept the Kagumon for. Just the DNA with uh, Dolph Mon to do that. Because after that, um, one of the Mons I get later can DNA with it. And I can acquire Siege Mon. So, that'll be nice. Um, I might DNA it down again though to try to get um, a different Mon along with Zudomon, because there's another mod I can get. Uh, I can get Waymon as well on that line. And Waymon's attack is pretty much uh, Dolphmon's attack, but it hits all three opponents. And Dolphmon's attack is actually relatively weak, but it, uh, I just like the added side effect it has of lowering the attack stat. Good thing I have Magnum. Gekko Mon already? Wow. It's only the second floor, too. I hope it this way has to be, uh... Now. Damn, it doesn't. Alright. I just hope this episode doesn't get corrupted again, because <laughs> I don't want to do this episode a third time. I'm on a side note. Um, I should have some showdown battles up soon. Or something like that. Uh, I don't know when this video is actually going to go up, so by the time this goes up, I may or may not have the showdown stuff already uploaded. Uh, hopefully I do. I wanted to record it tonight, but, well, I guess later today, because it's obviously early in the morning, because the last recording session was like this one. I guess I'll start with the torpedo. I hope I don't get confused and it's poisonous. I shouldn't, though. I should be able to kill everything. And I'm keep, I keep talking over these battles, which is why I've been keeping them in for the past two battles. 
not gonna keep all of them in. Um, well, actually, a lot of times I might just run away. Uh, but that. Fuck. I should have strong characters. But, uh, I just wanna level up Tortomon, so that's kind of why I'm keeping them in. And I feel as though my. My dimensions are off. Entirely sure. I'm probably just gonna fiddle with it after this battle. Alright, so I'll just fire again. And it doesn't matter what you do, because hopefully by the time Tortomon has to attack, the other party will get Anyway, I probably should have just cut that out though. I'll, I'll be fighting some battles here actually. I just want to level up again. Alright, so just give me a moment. Okay. This looks better to me. Um, it was. It, it might not have been off by much, or at all rather, but it just looked like that it was off to me. Okay, so I'm gonna go this way. Actually, uh, no, I don't care. Then I weren't that much experience. So, so what, 102, maybe. Another thing I thought about doing with these episodes was I thought about just not just not showing anything to, up until the boss, but then there's no point in me making this an LP. That'll just pretty much be a, a boss run, I guess. And there's some when you fight mini bosses along the way. I don't remember all of them, so. Probably end up fighting both of these guys regardless. So I'll be more back after I'm done with these two. Alright, so I took out both of those guys. It took me a little longer than expected because I got confused. And I forgot one of water specialty floors, so Gecko might got a defense boost. But um, you know, like I said before, I'm gonna try to have some showdown battles up. Because um, I haven't had any like actual Wi-Fi battles or any Pokemon related stuff up lately, and Thick Jet is almost out, and it's fun. I'll have to continue that thought after these battles. Alrighty then, I almost forgot to start recording again after that battle. Anyway, as I was saying, um, Gen 6 is almost out, and fuck. And I'm gonna get to do this. And 5th Gen is pretty boring. I'll probably get more into detail. Showdown video, but that, that's pretty much all I had really to say about it. Um, excited for 6th gen, got my 3DS finally, and ready for some Pokemon. Anyway, that goes on the time. Oh Alright. I do need experience, but I need level up. Fighting at least two of them anyway, so I guess I might as well get ready. All right, be back momentarily. All right, now that, that stuff is done, I don't remember what I was talking about now. That definitely took like a while. I don't know what time it was when I started that, but now it's sometime later. <laughs> So there's only five more floors in this, I believe. I don't remember. Yeah, five more floors. Um, I still have my Digivices, obviously. Um, but they were doing the recording and I didn't find uh, whoever was. Oh, nice promotion on the last domain I went to. So. He might not have even been available to capture yet, but it's whatever. Not, might not be until this mission's over. Experience. Oh, be right back. All right, so I I know in my last video where the probably have corrupted, I showed that battle, but I don't know if I've ever shown that that specific group of enemies before. And is this it? This is it. So I can show you. I'm 
as I explained it in the previous video, I believe. Um, I'll just explain it again now, obviously. Uh, it's Kuagamon, which you fought before. Platinum Sukumon, I believe, you fought before, and Flymon. Now, Flymon can... Um, has the ability to poison you, and Platinum Sukumon has the ability to add... Um, what is it called? Confusion. So, obviously... Platinum Sukumon tries to make it so that um, you get poisoned and confused by the Flymon. Outside of that, eh, the battle's not really too difficult. And a common thing I've noticed is that if there's an enemy that can inflict one status ailment, the enemy that can bestow another status ailment will always target that foe first. Kind of like how with the Gekkomon battle, the uh, what is it? Uh, the, uh, the, uh, the Red Vegemon will target uh, the Gekkomon with the, the ability to poison. Because Gekkomon actually has the ability to confuse, uh, I guess. It's, I guess just program that way. Because it happens every single battle. Uh, they always target the same one with the status, or the assist rather. And. That's pretty much it for the fight. Nothing really spectacular. And as, as you can see, I'm taking them out relatively easily, but again, that's because I have vaccine types. So, I have an especially easy time in here. Now, he's using Silver Car Strong Carapace, and I don't know why. That move is the worst, but it just strikes everyone, so I can keep using it. should be able to have Terra Force and have access to um, to Zudomon um, when I leave this dungeon, so alright, I don't want to go that way. Uh, I think this is just a treasure floor, there shouldn't be any mons here. Well, not a treasure floor, but just one of those floors with three rooms. Alright, and then the Four panel should be over here in this room and infested with traps. Like, holy shit. Good thing I have everything upgraded to the max, or else I wouldn't be able to see any of that. I'd just walk into all of it. Oh, I didn't run into that last time. I said Bakumon. Well, I don't think we've fought them before. Um, like Bergemon, they move two steps for every one of your steps. Um, their attack is Evil Charm, I believe it's called, and it confuses you. So, um, but sadly they only give 73 experience, but if I fight both of these, I should level up or frame on it. So I'll show one. Um, they usually only, they only appear by themselves, and they usually are on the darkest specialty foot, which is their specialty, which I'm kind of wondering why it's not on right now, but hey, that just makes my job easier, so I'm not complaining too much. But uh, again, these things aren't spectacular, and... Why did Tortomon just go for Pokemon? Tortomon's slow. Oh my gosh. I don't understand the speed in this game. Or what determines how you go first. Alright, 73, right? Oh, 75. I'm sorry. Alright, so I'll cut out this one. As we just saw that fight two seconds ago. Alright, so. Uh, we're going just on Terror Force. And in that battle. Um, you saw the battle before how Tortomon went before my War Greymon. In that battle, War Greymon went before Tortomon. Sorry, 66. 59. Like, I don't understand. Oh, well, whatever. I'm sure he's maxed out level 32 because Mega Dramon and Metal Greymon. So, yeah. Uh, I already have something to DNA with, so it's, it's fine. The only thing is, I have to do a lot more grinding. And I have no problem with grinding, but. So this is going to be the only episode I have up before I have to grind again. I don't know if I'll be able to have these consistently. Um, or how consistently I have these, rather. Unless I just bring the new one with me, because it will go to a champion. Um, because, actually, I'm going to fought this with the Venom this, so I like them now. Well, I explain this. Uh, I've already explained how DNA evolution works. But since I'm I'm gonna be DNA digivolving a Mega and an Ultimate, 
I'll go back down to the champion levels. Okay, Terra Force is on, so I can't counter that. And I get to show up Terra Force in this video, so. Or this battle. It takes 40 MP, and it's pretty fucking amazing. Alright, here it goes. Kidding me? You just took 135 oh, damage. Yeah. You're still alive. Good thing it doesn't fuck back like Leomon's uh, counter attack or else. Or Grimmon probably be dead right now. But I don't. How did that not kill it? It's definitely got like 2 HP left. I guess I should have used Strong Parapets there just to ensure that I would be able to KO everything or KO the Ogre no, I thought Metal Grimmon would be enough to do that on his own. Or War Grimmon, rather. Because he is a threat. See, look at that sliver. Come on, let's Alright, I'm gonna blow up this time. Fire Blast. Two. They need him on again, so. Actually, if I strung a pattern on this, would that. That would really do nothing, so. Harpoon's Torpedo is probably the, the best option. Of course it's not dead. Why would Devamon be dead? Damn it, I should've... Should I have Carapist? Well, I guess I'll see. The Natamon would probably be dead. Oh. Strong Carapist is just a terrible move. Not like Fire Blast is that much better than it, but... Well, considering the damage difference, Fire Blast is a lot better than Strong Carapist. So... If that's any indication. On the right side, looks like it's Zubuma and level him up. His attack hits all the enemies too, so I'll have a stronger technique on this mon that can attack all the enemies. Uh, Alright, so now that Torto mon is level 21, I'm actually going to swap him out. Which honestly, I don't know why I nicknamed uh, Guagamon Heracross. Since Guagamon has two horns, and so does Okuamon, a Mega Capitaramon, a Capitaramon of one horn. So I still kept the nickname, but I'm just like, wait a minute, I'm stupid. It was honestly just the first thing I thought of, and Pangeamon. I don't think I have a plan for that actually. Um, I can use that as fodder for something later, I guess. I think I've shown this group of enemies, so I'm just going to. Uh, so I might not have actually shown that specific group of enemies together. I remember talking and going over Ice Devimon in Yogamon in the previous episode, but still got, those guys give 231 experience, so I don't remember if this is another floor like like floor six. I'm not opening any treasure chests right now because, of, like I said, the, uh, um, well, my items are full. That's why I'm not opening any treasure chests. Oh my god, no. Oh gosh. Oh, because I'm in the box. Why did I cut that battle? I meant to fight him. I just ran him. Rushed him. Anyway, now we're on the last one. Straight upwards. This way should be. Yeah, this should be a dead end. Okay. If the floor is the same as it was last time, then. You know what? I'm just gonna go once more. I. I really just wanna get this video I, This is the second time I'm doing this video. I know I've said that a lot in this video, but I. I'm pretty sure the last floor of the domain just generally stays the same. Uh, 
I actually think that I've shown the tank in battle before, so I'm probably not going to show it again. The only difference is this one's a Vermont, but Vermont doesn't exactly do anything, so I don't think I'll show it. Everyone's attack pretty much just attacks one mom and the opposing party and that's it. So outside of that, um, I don't think I'll be sure. So I'm actually gonna cut away right now. And oh no, I'll finish the No, I'll just cut away now. And then hopefully again, so I'll be back in the Okay, so um I forgot that when I change windows for for my emulator, for some reason, um my, uh, my controller, something weird happens, where, um, it makes it so that my, my Ninja Beetle or my character either moves forward, uh, if I'm, if I'm my character, if I'm not a Ninja Beetle, but if I'm in my Ninja Beetle, I go like this. I don't know why, so, um, right where you saw a tank on, where it was, he still had a little heart, and I, like, I, since I paused the video, I went like this, and luckily he still joined me. Even when he had a tiny heart, so thankfully there's that. Alright, though. <sighs> now we have to go this way and we have to fight. There's three Devimon this way, so there's the first one. Alright, that battle took way too long. These battles. <laughs> It, it's not that the battle was hard, it just took way too long. And I'm liking the MP disagrees, though. She should be the second Devimon in this room, right? Okay, second Devimon is down. It should just be one. It should be one. And, and here's the last one. Alrighty then. Now, finally, uh, Nick P and Heracross leveled up. So, Heracross are. Terrymon, Learn, Hornbuster, and uh, Dual Scissor Claw, so this boss fight is going to go really smoothly. some reason, for now, just like, I ran out of room. Anyway, uh, I forgot to heal my little green box. Please, I'm gonna take care of that right now. And yeah, bitch, I'm gonna open it up. I'm sorry, I'm gonna open it up. Uh, like, I'm gonna open it up. And I'm gonna open it up. And this boss fight should be over relatively fast. Because the last time I did this, I didn't have I had a uh, Kabutari, I believe, so it took a little bit longer, but uh, this time it should go a lot smoother, because I have to with the claw as well. And I think that'll wrap. 
wrap things up in a boss fight. Shit, let's see. Maybe not. Let's go grab my mind. Both up? Holy shit. Powerful users. I think they both can win. Damn. Oh, they literally have like no HP left. I had to give Metal Cross uh, more grain on that MP this though, so I could fire up two. But now nah, the boss fight's pretty much over, so. Right, about three minutes for that boss fight, not bad. for this episode. Alrighty then. So, um, and that'll be it for this episode. We're about 27 minutes, and I don't know how much people appreciate these longer episodes, but whatever. Anyway, that'll be it for this episode. You can tell the video, like, comment, subscribe, subscribe, like, good job, subscribe, okay, and I'll catch you next time. Later.